Okay guys, this is the new mirror setup. After replacing it, we got it on the new base. As you can see, it's a little bit wider open, or more open. Um, our problem child is still here. Uh, I ended up using packing tape on this to seal it up. Uh, and it seems to be holding pretty well. I'm gonna let the mirror run for a few hours, uh, just to make sure. And these little black marks here tell me the tape is here and there's wood here. So if it starts to separate, I'll know immediately. Um, but otherwise, it's the same as the, the other mirror as far as configuration is concerned. We did some work on the uh, PID controller for the vacuum. Everything's all on its nice little uh, breadboard now. and We've actually run out of room on the board, so at some point we're going to have to make a certain board for that. Um, the new thing is the software that I wrote that monitors the, uh, the controller. Um, you can see right here on the top graph, the yellow line represents where we want the mirror sensor value target to be, and uh, this little squiggly white line that you see here is the current value coming out of the mirror sensor itself. Okay, And then the uh, graph below shows the proportional integral derivative uh, values that are coming out of the controller and uh, output is the actual value that we're sending to the servo to control the gear. Um, I don't, probably can't see that really well, uh, but this is, allows us to change the current values for uh, how the controller operates. We show what the packet count is, and currently I'm getting tometry from the Arduino, so every time a full set of packet come through, it kicks that counter up. Um, you, we can load and save settings to EEPROM on the Arduino. And now we press the green run button here, we'll see the controller start to do its thing. As the target line, or as the mirror position line reaches the target, you'll see the uh, proportional value start to come into play. And this will go on and for a little while until it settles in and you'll see the mirror uh, sensor value uh, after a uh, period of time kind of pretty much stay on top of the target. There's a little bit of tuning left to be done to, to smooth that out just a little bit more. Uh, the rate of change is still pretty high, uh, but other than that it works really well. And uh, as you can see, it makes a really nice mirror, doesn't it? It's all nice and tight. We got a little bit of problems there, but that's just because of the uh, the crawl problem we had with that adhesive. Uh, the current ambient temperature in the shop is 66 degrees. Um, so basically, the problem is boils down to at this point the fact that the adhesive, when we removed it, pulled up the hardened surface of the MDF, and uh, the uh, fibrous material was not a good enough surface for that adhesive that we used. So this is what works. Now I come over here and you can see the uh, the servo doing its thing. And yeah, it's kind of loud, but uh, this will all be muffled out, so you really won't hear it in the uh, in the simulator. And it's really not moving it a whole lot, but just enough. And once that rate of change is adjusted down, uh, it won't be noticeable at all on the, uh, the pilot side of the mirror. Thanks a lot for watching, folks.